iteachgeek.com. <laughs> Ask Brian. That's me. Welcome to I Teach Geek. I'm your host Rashad, and I'm here to show you how to set up a print server. When you first come up in Server 2008, we're gonna go ahead and go to Add Rows. Next, we go to print and documents. Next, next. I know we're just gonna do a regular print server. Um, they have other options. You can read the description to see if you want to install it. But right now, I'm just showing you how to do a print server. It's much easier to do a print server, so you don't have to manually add every printer to every computer on your network. Go ahead and press install. All right, it's installed now. So let's go ahead and go to printage management. Want to go ahead and come all down here to printer. You right click, go add a printer, TCP IP, you pick auto detect, but always just pick TCP IP. So we're going to go ahead and put the IP address of the printer. Make sure you set the printer's IP address. I'll detect the driver sometimes it won't but sometimes it will all right when you get here you go ahead and put a generic network card if you have something different you go ahead and pick it but we go ahead and generic go ahead next all right when you come here go ahead and use the printed wizard or Use an existing printer driver that's already on your computer, or you can install a new driver. Right now, we're going to install a new driver. Next, you can do a Windows update, or you can go ahead and go to I have it on the hard disk, and you just click on here and browse and find a driver if you have it installed somewhere. Sometimes they, they have your printer here, but I recommend to go ahead and get the latest driver from the website or from the CD that you just received. So you go ahead and just pick it, pick your printer. So I'm just going to say we have an HP printer here. Do an inkjet. You go to next. You want to share this printer. Okay, here goes the printer name. If you're in a business environment, please name it something that people can easily know what printer it is, like hallway printer or break room printer or red printer or whatever the case is the easiest thing for people to be able to see what printer is which so we can go ahead and I'm gonna call this the big copier all right go ahead and press next next now you can test the page or you can add another printer right now we're just gonna go ahead and press finish okay now you have the big copy you installed now we need to go to our client machine and test to see if we can add a printer with no problem so let's go ahead and go to our client machine alright when you get to your client machine I'm gonna show you how to add it on the client real easy instead of adding it manually one by one the easiest way right now is to go to start devices and printers right now you don't see it you can add the printers using GPO but right now I'm just showing you the basic way watch my tutorial on GPO to show so you can see how to 
push out printers out through group policy. So right now we're just gonna go ahead and add a printer, add a network printer. Printer wasn't listed, so we go ahead and put where that printer was. So it was on this server, and then the name of the printer, big copier. Press OK. It found it. Just go to next, finish, and it's installed. So much easier to go to each computer and step by step install the driver, find the driver, put the IP address in. It's so much easier. So this is the big benefit of having a print server. So make sure that your print server has a lot of RAM because it can be hit a lot if it's a lot of computers on it. So with, thanks for watching my tutorial. If you have any more questions on print servers, watch my group policy. I will show more on how to send it out, push it out over the network so you don't even have to go through that step.